In this video, I'm be ranking the top centers in NBA 2K22, my team on a tier list. The first center is going to be Dark Matter Artist Gilmore. I still think he is a top 5 center in the game. He's a center, 7 foot 2 tall, 7 foot 5 wingspan, only an 83 ball, but you look at the defense, 95 block, 92 steel, 87 perimeter, and 98 interior defense with 88 speed, 88 acceleration. He's got 90 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk. He's a great rebounder as well. And then tons of good Hall of Fame defensive badges. I still think Artis is a top five uh, center in the game. Next center on the list is gonna be Big Z. I think he's probably seeds here. I don't think this card is very good anymore. Maybe you can run him if maybe if you're a Cavs fan or you just want a tall center because he is seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan. I just feel like with only 69 speed, that is way too slow. And then only a 50 perimeter defense. I just feel like this card is kind of not playable. You can run him if you wanted to, but I would say he deserves to be in C tier. Kristoff Porzingis, easily a top five center in my team. In my opinion, he's probably the second best center in the game. He's a center, seven foot three tall, seven foot six wingspan. He's got 95 three ball, 94 mid range, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. Defensive stats and badges might not look the best, but this card actually got some really good defensive animations in game. And he's seven foot three with the seven foot six wingspan, so he's gonna be fine on the defensive end. The best thing about this KP card is gonna be the shooting badges for on Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame blinders, catch and shoot, sniper, limitless spot up, chef. He's got pretty much all the important shooting badges on Hall of Fame. He's got Hall of Fame rim protector, which is nice. A look at the animations, he's got probably the best big man jump shot in the game. The so Chris Porzingis is a super elite center, especially on the offensive end. Next center is going to be Dwight Howard. I think he's probably B tier. I think he's probably better at the power forward position, but he still looks to be not bad at center. He's six foot eleven with a seven foot four wingspan, and defensively, athleticism wise, this card is amazing. We look at his defense. He's got 98 block, 95 steel, 90 perimeter, and 98 interior defense. He's got 98 vertical, 96 speed, 98 driving dunk, 98 standing dunk. My big flaw with the card though is going to be the 74 three ball and i'm really not the biggest fan of this of this jump shot if you can somehow green consistently with dwight howard then he's probably a really good center for you but me i'm very 50 and i cannot green with dwight howard's jump shot next center on the list is going to be dino raja he's definitely better at power forward but i think still for center he does he deserves to be in b tier because of the fact that he has the seven foot eleven wingspan i think he can definitely run the center position being six foot eleven with a seven foot eleven wingspan 83 ball 92 mid range 91 speed 91 acceleration pretty good on the defensive end great rebounder has hall of fame rim protector rebound chaser chase down artist and brick wall he's got a hall of fame quick first step 83 ball handle 86 speed with ball look at the animations he's got a great jump shot on very quick release timing and he's got the kobe bryant side to escape package which is pretty funny to have on a dino card but i do think overall he's a very good center the kembe matumbo i don't think he's in the top five maybe he gets moved up to s tier s tier is the top five centers in the game right now and i think the kembe is probably just on the edge of s tier maybe as the sixth or seventh best center in the game he's seven foot two with a seven foot six wingspan and i'm just going to point out the flaw right now he's amazing on the defensive end but a 58 steal i know it's not the i know it's not you know everything matters about steel but having a 58 steal is not the best in my opinion can't really handle the ball but he's still easily an a tier center and probably the sixth best center in my team yao ming easily best center in the my in my team right now and i think Kristaps is right behind him i think we all know why yao ming this yao ming card is the best center is because he's seven foot six with a seven foot nine wingspan with a 93 three ball and a 93 mid-range with hall of fame hall of fame blinders catch and shoot corner specialist limitless spot up and sniper just off that alone makes him probably the best center in the game he's got 77 speed which seems a a really slow but if you give him a coach boost plus six speed or plus eight speed and then you give him a plus four diamond shoe boost he's gonna have 87 to 89 speed which in my opinion i do think is good enough for a yao ming card and then obviously he's gonna be really good on the offensive end but he's especially gonna be really good on the defensive end having a 97 block 95 interior and tons of hall of fame defensive badges and 
the best thing about this Yao Ming card is it gave him his jump shot on very quick release timing, meaning he's actually got one of the best big man jump shots in the game. I do have this Yao Ming card and that jumper is absolutely money. Next center on the tier list is going to be Galaxy Opal David Robinson. Some people might disagree with me on this one, but I do think D-Rob is still a top five center. I think Dave Robinson is better than Nikembe Mutombo because I feel like he's a better overall center. He's seven foot one with a seven foot five wingspan, having a 91 three ball, 96 mid range, 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 94, uh, 94 block, 80 steel, 84 perimeter, and a 95 interior defense. He's got Hall of Fame catch and shoot, corner specialist, sniper, quick first step, chase down artist, brick wall, clamps, interceptor, rim protector, rebound chaser. He can even handle the ball a little bit, 86 ball handle, 89 speed with ball. And I do think Dave Robinson, Dave Robinson on, bear, on quick release timing is one of the best big man jump shots in the game. So Dave Robinson, a very complete center and top five in my opinion. Eddie Curry, he's very good for budget. I think he's C tier though. He's not on the level of Dino. I think Dino is a good amount better, but if you need a budget center, I definitely think Eddie Curry is good enough. Like he's very solid for the budget centers. He's a center power forward, seven foot tall, seven foot four wingspan. Stats really aren't the best. Only an 81 three ball, 88 speed, pretty low defensive stats. Like I said, for budget players, he's definitely a good center. Could have got a pretty good jump shot on very quick release timing and got some decent dribble sigs before a center that doesn't really matter next center on the list is going to be bill lambeer he's in c tier his jump shot is literally not usable in my opinion i'm gonna have him in c tier patrick ewing i think very similar to a guy like dwight howard i think he's going to be top of b tier i don't think he's on the level of a guy like dikembe but i do think he's probably going to be the highest on b tier hakeem olajuwon a tier center in my opinion i think he is right behind dikembe mutombo because he's very similar to a guy like David Robinson, seven foot tall, seven foot three wingspan, has a good three ball, pretty good defense, 97 interior, 92 block, 87 steal. My, in my opinion, I just feel like his jump shot is not as good as a Chris Stops, a Yao Ming, a David Robinson. It's set shot 18 on quicker release timing, which in my opinion really isn't the best of a big man jump shot. It does feel a little bit baited, but it's a good enough jump shot for Hakeem. And I do think he is an A tier center. Jokic, very similar to a guy like Patrick Ewing. I think he's a lot better at power forward. I do think he's probably an A tier power forward. I did that video yesterday if you guys want to go check it out. My power forward tier list, he was A tier, I'm pretty sure. But him at center, 6 foot 11, 7 foot 3 wingspan. I just feel like at the center position, you got to be a lot better defensively than a guy like Jokic. Only a 70 perimeter, 89 block, 88 interior defense. I just feel like, yes, he's really good on the offensive end. He's probably one of the best offensive centers in the game. I just feel like he lacks a lot on the defensive end. So Jokic is going to be in B tier. Next center on the tier list is going to be the final person that goes in, in S tier, which is going to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I do think he's probably, if I had to rank them, I'd probably do something like this. Yao Ming 1, Kristaps 2, Kareem 3, D-Rob 4, and then Artist Gilmore 5. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below who are your guys' top five centers in the game right now. But looking at Kareem, he's 7'2 with a 7'5 wingspan. Just like Artis Gilmore, just like Dwight Howard, has amazing athleticism and amazing defense. 95 block, 92 steel, 90 perimeter with a 96 interior defense. 91 speed, 91 acceleration, 98 strength, and a 92 vertical. Good at going to the basket, great rebounder. Has Hall of Fame quick first step and pretty much every single defense a Hall of Fame badge. My only flaw with the card is going to be his jump shot. Yes, 79 three ball really isn't the best, but I think you can get a, you can get away with 79 three ball with the coach boost, a shoe boost, and then floor general. But in my opinion, I'm not the biggest fan of his jump shot. But if you can green consistently with Kareem, he's probably the second best center in the game ahead of Kristaps. If you know how to green with this KP card or with this Kareem card, next center on the tier list is going to be the Pink Diamond Kristaps Porzingis. I thought I'd just throw him on the list because I know a lot of people still run him because I can't afford the Dark Matter, but I do think he's in C tier. He's still very similar to Kristaps because they're the same player. But I feel like obviously the dark matter is a lot better. But if you need a budget option, I think Chris Stops Pink Diamond is really not the bad, really not that bad. Ralph Sampson, I think, is another B tier center, kind of on the same level as a guy like Dwight Howard. He's very similar to the Galaxy Opal Yao Ming. I've always said that. The Galaxy Opal Yao Ming and the Galaxy Opal Ralph Sampson are two very similar centers. He's seven foot four with a seven, seven foot eight wingspan. 
and that's pretty much it i mean he's super tall he's going to be able to mash on the offensive end and then of course he's going to give you some really good defense because of his height and because of his wingspan i feel like his jump shot is super baited in my opinion not the fastest card can't really handle the ball but if you need a tall center to play some defense grab rebounds and mash on the offensive end i do think ralph sampson is still a pretty good center Shaq is very similar to those guys very similar to dwight howard and very similar to a guy like ralph sampson he's going to be really good on the offensive end really good on defense just can't shoot a three ball and then finally james wiseman is going to be our last center and he's also not in my opinion a b tier center don't really think he's the best but i think for budget options he's better than eddie curry he's better than chris stops so if you guys need budget options i'd probably go like dino raja and james wiseman let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my tier list let me know what you guys would change only two centers in a tier maybe we'll throw patrick ewing and maybe we'll throw a guy like ralph sampson up into a's here maybe a Jokic. but those guys i thought we'll just throw them in there balance out the tier list but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my tier list and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace